hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing turkey broth and turkey soup so we had a rack from christmas and we had a bit of meat left on it and of course we wanted to do something with the bone well i wanted to do something with the bones so instead of just throwing it out like i used to do many many years ago I decided to do a broth with it, which I use for so many different things from cooking um, our starters in chili, soups, you name it, I've probably used broth for it. So here is just all my bits and pieces of leftover bones. I probably should have showed you the rack before I started um, with putting it in to the pot for broth. But here it is, all the bones, um, there's some skin in there, I have some water. I will add seasoning. So this is what I have left in my roaster from when I actually roasted the turkey. And this is the meat that I got off of it. I would say it's about maybe four cups. It's a pretty big bowl back there and that's what I got. That's what was left on the rack once we finished eating it. About four cups, four, maybe four and a half. And then this is just gonna go into the broth so any of the drippings and everything, I'll just add to the broth mix. And then I will season everything up and just leave it on the stove to boil up. And then with my meat, I'm going to make some turkey soup. So this should make probably about four or eight planks, depending on um, how much meat I put into each. So let's see how far I can get along with this. And I am gonna do the soup in pint jars because that's what fits in my canner four at a time. And we'll see how many we can do. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients laid out. I have my meat, I have my broth, I have my potatoes cut up and I did wash them. I have my carrots, my onions and my celery. So I will add a little bit of seasoning to this. Now, if I was just canning up turkey, I would do war pack and you would not add any broth because you don't need it because it would make its own broth. And if I was doing a hot pack, I would add a hot broth to add liquid to the cooked turkey. So if you're just doing turkey, you could do it two ways, hot or raw pack. So depending on which one, you would need broth. So now I'm just going to layer in my ingredients and you can do this any which way you like. You can put as many ingredients as you like. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because the ingredients will expand. But you do want to watch your headspace. For the turkey soup, you want to do one inch headspace of broth, not ingredients. Probably about halfway of ingredients and then fill it up to one inch headspace of broth. Okay, so I have debubbled my jars, wiped my rims, put my lids and rings on, and my jars are ready to go into the counter. And I have enough meat for probably about four more pints. Okay, so my soup is finished being processed, and this is what they look like out of the counter, cooling on my counter. I got eight pints in total. They will sit on my counter for 24 hours and I will cover them with a dishcloth just to keep them warm so they don't get too much of a shock from being out of the counter onto my countertop and my cool kitchen. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.